welcome back to News Geelong as it's time for the action-packed world of Geelong sport and the one and only Flying Hawk himself, Nathan Curry. Good evening, Nathan. Thank you very much, Rollo. Well, I'm down here at the Geelong Lawn Tennis Club for the 2011 Victorian Interregional Championships. The Barwon Region, our region, got up and had a very good win over the weekend. And first of all, I caught up with Tennis Operations Executive Manager, Nick Hinnenberg, to find out exactly what this event is all about. Well, Nick, it's quite an interesting event. Could you please explain it to the viewers how it all works? Yeah, sure. The Interregionals is the premier event for our uh, regional uh, country team. So we have 11 regions around Victoria and the play that we've seen here over the last three days really the players here represent the, uh, the higher end of those uh, of those regions and we've got over 150 players 11 regions all representing their their region and uh, and playing as a team so it's a fantastic event well this this is the first time in a while the Bowen region has hosted it how do you think they've put on a good show Look, Barwon Region have been fantastic. The, uh, the facility, the organisation, the people that help support the event have really been first rate. Uh, they haven't hosted it for five years uh, and they actually won it then too. So um, they've, uh, they've come back again even stronger this year. Courts have been fantastic. They've got lots of different surfaces as well, which makes it interesting for the teams and the age groups. And um, I really couldn't speak more highly of them. And what about yourself? What's next for you? I bet it's quite a busy time in the summer for a bloke who works in tennis. Uh, absolutely. Tennis at this time of year is, uh, is very exciting to be involved in. We've had, um, we've had grass court champions, championships here last week. We've got the interregionals now. We've got pro circuit events going on all over the country. And of course, the, uh, the big one, the Australian Open, starting in uh, just a little over a week's time. So it's a great time to be in tennis and lots of momentum behind the sport. I then caught up with the Bowen Region captain, Mick Mullen, to find out just what this win means to them. Probably the pinnacle of being on Bowen Region Committee for a few years now that, that joining the juniors together with the seniors is the biggest event that we have for the year and, and to, to go a three-peat, nine out of 11 is, uh, is what we've been looking forward to for, for, all, for the last six months. You, sort of, you, pl you play your other regional games where the juniors do and the seniors do, but this is where we combine and we do our biggest event for the year today. So to take it out is a, is a, big, a big buzz. Yeah. How does the region manage to keep backing it up year after year? We're, uh, well, if you go back with one nine out of 11, so you, your juniors come through, it just goes to prove what a good junior program we have throughout the Geelong to go and continue those juniors. They're now playing the seniors. And we've still got a good crop of juniors coming through uh, and it's just, it just keeps rolling along. So we've, yeah, well, obviously the program we've got going here in the Bowen region is working. It must be really good for the juniors to see players like Justin Robertson still wanting to play even at his age. Exactly, and, and you talk to the 12 and the 14 year olds, the young ones, and, and like they, they've never met Justin Robinson until these sort of events come along, and now we're, they're, we're playing in the same team. So to go and watch Justin out there, you know, at 40 years of age, still going, playing great tennis, this is what the kids aspire to, and, uh, and it's, to bring it all together in one, as I said, is, is, it's just it's really good for the kids to, to see those people, what they've got to do to become that, and it's just a progression for them to see, and, and they witness it out here. They can go and watch the 12s, can go and watch the 14s and the 16s, and it progresses through to the seniors. And finally, do you think you can do it all again in 2012? Yes. It, it, because a lot, saying that, I'm not saying that arrogantly, I'm saying that because a lot of the kids that have won tournament, the tournaments, their age groups here today are bottom age. So they'll still be in the same age group next year. So you'd be pretty confident, yeah. As Mick was saying, it's a very big achievement by the Bowen region and two of the players that had a lot to do with it was Justin Robertson and Matt Holsher, who managed to win their doubles title and I caught up with them straight after their match. No, oh, we come out and we won the first set probably too easily and, and um, just relaxed a bit, um, didn't keep it going. Um, that, that, that was our downfall. We've done that every match. Um, then we come back and won. No worries. So what things did you try and do to turn the match around? Uh, we just picked up the intensity and just tried a bit harder. Well, you, well you've, you've won the Interregionals for 2011. Is it a good feeling to be back into the side after you missed last year, Robbo? Oh, yeah. I love playing this. Um, I haven't played too many times, but, um, yeah, no, it's, it's really good. Yeah. And, you, and you, do you think you work well as a doubles team, maybe talk, focusing on uh, the Premier League when it comes back later in the year? Oh, we, it's, well, we're good enough. It's good enough to win, yeah. Good enough doubles pairing. Well, that's it for the 2011 Victorian Interregional Championships and myself. I'll be back on Friday night, but until then, it's back to you, Rollo. Well done, Nathan. See you again on Friday evening with more of Geelong Sport. Mother Nature has proved to be a very fickle lady throughout the width and breadth of our great country in recent weeks as Geelong continues to receive its fair share of indifferent weather. Sparkling Lani Salafiel joins us now 
to update us with the latest weather in and around Geelong and District. Good evening, Lani. What surprises do you have in store for us tonight? Thank you, Graham. Well, it's looking like the rain is set to continue in Geelong for next week. Let's take a look what the forecast is saying. For tomorrow, we're looking at a rainy day, a top of 31 in Geelong. For Friday, the maximum is 29. Rain easing to drizzle and a windy day for Friday. For the weekend, we're looking at 23 on Saturday, a little bit of drizzle clearing in the afternoon. For Sunday, a maximum of 28, a mostly sunny day, so a nice one there for one day of the weekend. For the start of next week, Monday, maximum of 23 and a shower or two clearing in Geelong. For Tuesday, we're looking at a maximum of 23 and also a few showers around, uh, again possible in Geelong. And for today, we had a little bit of rain around. Uh, some storms possible tonight. We had a minimum of 16 and a maximum of 27 today. So that is the forecast until Friday, Graham. And of course, our hearts go out to all the victims and uh, people suffering up in Queensland with those horrendous floods. So hopefully um, some improvement there by next week. Thank you, Lani. See you again on Friday night. Maybe the forecast will begin to improve as we move further into supposedly sunny summer. And thank you for being with us on News Geelong this Wednesday evening. Remember to all, take your time and smell the flowers. From all the team at News Geelong, have a pleasant evening, keep dry and a very good night.